Hi, I'm Kurt Larson and I'm the CTO here at Nimblelink. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Skywire BeagleBone Black Cape. For those of you that are familiar with the BeagleBone Black family of products, we've created a cape that plugs into the BeagleBone. Um, the main features of this product are that it breaks out uh, multiple UARTs and multiple USB ports to provide a very interesting um, gateway development platform. So the first thing we did is we, we added a USB hub chip so that we could bring out two additional USB host ports um, to aid in your development. The third USB port um, is tied into the Skywire's USB interface. Um, there's also a, a multiple MUXs on the board which allow you to route different UART interfaces to both the Skywire device or the XB, uh, second XB interface which allows you to plug in um, Digi International's XB uh, radio modules. So between the Skywire providing the cellular link and the XB module providing Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, or, or other low power radio uh, links, you can create very interesting uh, gateway uh, applications with this particular platform. Um, in addition to those interfaces, we also brought out two CAN bus ports. So if you're looking to do a vehicle telematics product, uh, the two CAN bus ports are brought out from the BeagleBone Black um, which are also available on this, on this dev development board. A couple things to point out that are, are key and will help you when you get your kit. Um, the module is inserted such that the two, two RF connectors on the bottom are towards the RF connectors on the module. And that's going to be true for any of the Skywire cellular modems that you plug into this product. Same for the XB radio modules. If you buy an XB radio module, the antenna interface on the XB should be pointing towards the dual RF end of the product. Um, depending on the Skywire modem that you're inserting into this product, that will determine how many um, antennas you'll need for your product. Some of our products require a single cellular antenna, and if that's the case, you'll use this port only. Um, some products require two antennas, one for primary, primary connections and one for a diversity connection. And in that case, you'll use this one for primary and this one for diversity. And the last RF connection is for our products that support GPS interfaces. So this particular SMA port um, on the, I guess the top end of the product, um, connects to a GPS connector that's on the bottom side of the module. Um, the easiest way to assemble this is to plug in all the U.FL connectors first and then plug the module into the XB interface. Um, there's couple LEDs on here. For more information on those, you can uh, take a look at the uh, schematics, which we provide on our website. We also have um, software examples and uh, tutorials to help you um, do what's necessary to work with the different BeagleBone Black software distributions. So um, a majority of the, of the examples are in uh, different Linux platforms. Um, in order to get the Skyware connected you have both the options of using USB or UART, and the, one of the key application notes on the Skywire pages for working with Linux and Skywire is what we call the PPPD application note. Um, that will tell you how to set up a cellular data connection through the Linux operating environment. If you have any questions or if you need help integrating or changing this design uh, for a custom product, please feel free to reach out to us through our website and we'll, uh, we'd love to talk to you and, and help you through your design. Uh, last note, if you need a cellular data plan for your devices, um, uh, our products are pre-certified on Verizon's cellular network, um, so you can buy them off the shelf and immediately deploy them in your products. We also resell Verizon's data plan, so if you need to get connected today, give us a call and we will be able to connect your modem uh, immediately. Thanks for watching and uh, for more information, please visit our website.